his name is Tyler. Do you mind? Go ahead. 702-612-4073. All right. Tyler, expect a call from me tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Godspeed, so that's, that's awesome. They're not real pleasant. So I have a question for you because you were talking about, you know, a call going on again tomorrow. Will it be the same phone number, same code? Uh, as stated earlier, this is the, I was just referred to this HD version of the software that I'm using right now to do this. Um, okay. I, I, think, <laughs> I think I can keep the number. I, I think this is hardlined to one, one specific account. So as of right now, I'm going to say yes. Um, okay. if, if, if unfortunately that plan may change, um, what I would recommend is the best thing I can do is if people are staying in contact with me on Facebook um, directly, uh, again, if you type in just the words free to people all at once, I'll pop right up. Um, okay. And yeah, add me as a friend. I, I'm open game. I, I, I'd love to be in contact with as many uh, you know, constitutionally minded good people that, that are out there, you know, a lot of leaders and people that can help spread the word because that's really about what I've you know, been trying to do is you know, network and wake people up. And uh, obviously it's paying off. You know, we had 120 some odd people on this call earlier and I'd say a good majority of them were you know, leaders of you know, different administration pages, groups, et cetera, that they're all trying to do the same thing. And that, you know, that means a lot. And uh, it sounds like we can really get some stuff accomplished if we do keep this open. So please, yeah, sp spread that out. And uh, I'd expect at least by five, maybe six central tomorrow, um, you know, it should be at full throttle again. Again, I'll, I'll try to leave it up in between that. But um, did you get the callback number, by the way, to play this whole conversation back if you ever wanted to? I did. I wrote it down. I'm awesome with okay, the pen. That's why I was asking. <laughs> yeah, anybody who hears this, uh, feel free to let people know you've got full right to rebroadcast any portion of this. Um, you know, it's free reign. Um, cool. Feel free to get it out just to uh, let people know that there are people trying to do the right thing out here. Hey, hey, you know, uh, uh, Gary, can so I could get that callback number for the round group? Yeah, please, by all means. Uh, it's the same area code and same prefix as this um, conference call number, but the last four digits uh -huh. are 1399 one, instead of 1300. And okay. then there are, there's, there's this audio key that we're giving me. I have not used this feature yet, but it's telling me to give you guys uh, pound 9142. And then the number, oh, then the number sign again. So pound nine one four two pound should be able to get you a, a playback of this. Uh, nine one four two is the code. Yeah, and there's a pound before and after that. Okay, my my pen died. I had to find another one. So it's the the last the same phone number, but the last three letters are different. All right, let's try that one more time. The I'm phone sorry. number you're on it. The conference call uh -huh. we're on is 559-726-1300. The right. playback number is 559-726-1399. Okay. There's an access code. It's called the audio key, if I'm not mistaken, is pound 9142-pound. Okay. And that's all I got. <laughs> Other than that, add me on Facebook right. and... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do what I can to get this broadcasted. I'm seeing a couple new features here to be able to broadcast this some other way um, while still achieving what we've just done with the conference call. So I'm going to look into those features. Uh, I definitely need to get some sleep, though, and uh, i, I got to be at work in about seven hours. So. Definitely get some feeling. sleep. And, Brian, you should get in touch with David Vanderbeek out in Nevada. Awesome guy. Uh, yeah, um, Vanderbeek's heading there, if I'm not mistaken, and yep. uh, I've got I've got one of the people he's supposed to be meeting up there. Um, he's going to be boots on the ground with a. Um, are you familiar with the GoPro uh, camera? Yeah. The Heroes. It, it's a broadcasting wide lens camera that he's going to be using. He's going to have a laptop out there, so he's going to be searching. Uh, he knows a couple of the administrators that are going to be there of other groups. Um, Keith Broders, which runs. Uh, the Constitution Club, um, who's close in there with Richard Mack, and then Vanderbeek's supposed to meet up there with them. So I'm hoping those are going to be some of the people on this call tomorrow to kind of give us uh, some other perceptions uh, other than, you know, what we've gone through over this uh, last, geez, six hours. <laughs> well, I've only been with you for a little over three, but you're awesome. Go get some sleep. 
John Constitution here. I just wanted to thank you for uh, putting this on. It's the first time I've even uh, heard about this. Uh, you know, I do hope the cooler heads will prevail in this, you know, and that uh, everybody just keeps the right mindset on it. You know what I'm saying? That nobody wants to start a war. No, Amen, exactly. brother. I mean, well, Brian, I commend you for being a patriot, not just patriotic. Uh, you know, there's a lot of keyboard warriors out there that they type and they share and they do this and that, and they are not proactive. So I want to tell you I commend you on, on what you're doing here. And I will be calling again tomorrow. Uh, mm. Hope you rest well, sir. Hey, thank you too, brother. I appreciate the kind words, man. I look forward to, you know, crossing paths with y'all. You know, it, oh, it's got to be over the internet. I'm gonna friend so you on free the people. I'm a friend you, and uh, right. you know, I'll, I'll shoot it out there, and uh, you'll you'll be able to see my awesomeness. <laughs> hey guys, awesome. hello. Yeah, yeah. Hi, we can hear you. Is, hi, this is Michael Benghazi from uh, Boynton Beach, Florida. Great. Yep. Yeah, Mike, you just added me on Facebook, bro. Yes, just uh, add my uh, page in. You can drop any links on it. Yeah, you just added me personally a little minute ago. Yes, Anti Mainstream is the name of the page. Anti Mainstream. Oh, okay. Hey, before I I head out, let me plug in Facebook dot com group csf dot member that's constitutional security force three percent csf dot member that's where we're channeling all the information and um, going forward you know depending on how the situation goes copy copy excellent you have a good night you all right take care brother So we're down to 25 people, man. Eric, you're still up there, eh, brother? Yes, sir. I'm still here. Man, how's your blood pressure, man? You got me a little bit earlier. You got you got a lump in my throat, man. You you doing all right? Yeah, I'm. I always do good. I'm Brian. You know me. I'm just passionate about what I what I know. I mean, you don't. I I don't mean to sound like I'm tooting my horn here, but you don't get to a position where I'm at because you're not passionate about what you do, because that passion bleeds off on other people. And I I, I, I that that was that was my heart. That's my heart and soul. And and everyone listening on this call right now, I'm I'm a real person. I'm I'm a real dude. I I'm just some guy who lives in Tyler, Texas who God grabbed a hold of a few years ago and said, "Hey, you need to get involved." And I went, "Who? What? Wait, me? Yeah, oh yeah. What?" So, I got involved and I started looking around, I did a little research. I I've never really had I I've never really had the luxury of being asleep anyway cuz my mother started on me when I was about seven, and I could tell you all things that would just completely just blow your mind. But the, the truth of the matter is that God reached down and he got me involved. He put me where I'm at today. It is not by my own doing. And I'm passionate about what we're doing here. It's what needs to be done. It's, it's you know, like I said before, where, where do you draw the line? Where, where do you start? Where do you start? Where do you stop? And, and, and in reference to the line, you know, where, do you keep drawing the line and then stepping back and, now don't do that, now, now don't do that, and you just keep drawing the line and you keep stepping back. Well, what, I mean, where, where does it stop? When right. you get to the wall, when, when your back's to the wall, when, when they got the bayonet, you know, piercing your belly, is that, is that when you fight back? When is it? No, when, I agree with you 100%. If I, could, if, I could just take, if I could just take a moment to maybe, you know, answer some of that. Uh, John Constitution here again. Uh, you can find me on Facebook on there. Uh I see that every day, you know, people draw the line, and it's, and it's talk, and it's talk, and it's talk. But luckily, luckily for me, I, I came out of a, a good group of guys, Ohio Valley Freedom Fighters, that have been around in this booth for a long time, uh, brought me into it. And they have some issues, groups fall apart. And uh, some of us broke off, and, and uh, we, we've got the American Spartans SST running right now. 
and half of us are divided. Some of us, you know what I'm saying, are, are, are ready for the fight, to bring the fight to them, and the other half of us are ready to defend. I mean, and, that, and that's a good makeup, especially for situations like we're facing now. They need boots on the ground out that way, but at the same time, you don't want to send your whole force out to leave yourself vulnerable at home. And somebody had mentioned that earlier. You know, you, you've, got, you've got to think through this with a level head and, and a calm head. That's right. Uh, you know, in, in, the line, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, you can't draw the line, and then when they bust your door down, you know, like you said, the bayonet's at your chest. You know, you, you have to be proactive, you know what I'm saying, to a certain point, but you can't go out there guns blazing, you know, because that right there is doing, it's going to feed right into what they want. Oh, they absolutely. Label us, they, they want to label us as terrorists, homegrown domestic terrorists. And well, we're going to get labeled as terrorists anyway. But and everybody on this call is is already considered a terrorist, and and, and I guarantee yeah. there's at least one or two feds listening in, and and everybody's name's on the list, you know. And I, and I, I make no disillusions about being watched myself. I know I am. Everybody but, in my group, is, and every, everybody in every group is. And and if you and if you don't believe that, then then you're you're still not awake enough. Well, let me tell you guys something. Not only am I the chairman of UAMAC, but I actually have my own unit here in Texas, the, the Texas Lightfoot Militia. And uh, me and my fellow commander, yeah. Ochapente, me, uh, my name's Eric Ron. I'll spell it out for you if you're on this call, because you know what? I don't care. R-A-H-N. Look me up. Tyler, Texas. 2014 West Jackson. I run a business called Ron's PC Repair. You want to come visit me? Come over and see me. I don't care, because you know why? Because my friend Dustin told me that the FBI contacted him in Fort Worth and said, you know what, y'all guys are good to go. Remember that guy Talbot that got busted down in, in Houston, Robert's Liberty? Yes. Do y'all know that there is, there's always federal operations going on to go check out militias? They know which ones are constitutional. They, they know which ones are right. They know which ones are, are wrong. I'm not in bed with anybody. I, I don't... I, I'm not in bed with the feds. I, I'm not. That's not the way I roll, folks. But I can tell you that I'm constitutional and that they said, you know what? That guy's constitutional. He, I mean, I don't break the law. I don't go out and act like a cowboy. Yeah, I live in Texas, but you don't have to be stupid. You got to be smart, like the one gentleman said. You know, there's... They want to put that broad Yes, sir. all of us. You know, yes, and, sir. And that three percent that means a lot to every one of us. Yes, but sir. Again, that's still a small number of the population. If they get the population turned against us, my, my group we we go out and do Habitat for Humanity. Uh, tornado come through in Indiana a couple years back. We went up there and cleaned up. Uh, we're looking into doing uh, Friends and Neighbors program this summer, uh, helping elderly out and just putting our name out there in a positive light to try to change, you know, the yes. side. Yes. You know, uh, of of the militia group and, and being proactive like that, you know what I'm saying? And, and every group needs to get out there and do that, not hide in the woods, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, and, I mean, you've got to get yourselves out there. You know, I mean, somebody said earlier, you know, to, to not be so open about it, but uh, I've had logos printed up, and it's on the back of my truck, and it's everywhere that I go. I mean, hey, sir, know. let me let me share something with y'all. The United American Militia Advisory Council, UAMAC, is strictly constitutional and embodies all constitutional militia units in these United States of America. UAMAC's purpose is to unite them into a single, undivided, and communicating operations force for freedom and liberty for all with common aspirations and goals. UAMAC's primary mission is to create a nationwide training, communications, and intelligence network. UAMAC's secondary mission is to improve and repair the image, reputation, and appearance of the American militia in the public eye through public relations campaigns using all available media avenues. That is UAMAC, and that's what I'm the chairman of, and that's what our goal is. We need to repair the militia. The, the militia is, is so, uh, I'm going to use a military term here, soup sandwich. Y'all know what that means, don't you? It's a soup sandwich. It, it, you ever try eating a soup sandwich? It don't work so well, does it? I don't work out for you. Sir? Sir? Yeah. Yeah. What, what'd you say? 
Oh, I'll tell you, it wasn't going to work out for you if you try to eat a soup sandwich. Roger that, sir. That's exactly my point. Is is it's a big mess, and we got we got to clean it up. But the only way it, it can't be one guy with this goofy title, i.e., me. Oh, I'm the chairman of UA. Who cares? It's not about me. It's about all of us. It's about all y'all. It's about we got to work together to make things happen. It can't just be one guy up here with some goofy title saying, "Oh, hey, look at me," because I'm no, I'm nobody. I'm just some dude in Tyler. Okay, really. I am. I'm just some guy. And I don't care about titles. I don't care about rank. I don't care about any of that crap. I just want my freaking country back, okay? That's all I care about. And and if the only way it's going to happen is if we unite together as a nation and we stand as a wall, as an impenetrable, inseparable, undivided wall against this tyranny, against this this rogue administration. And and we have to stand together. And it, the only way this is going to work, and it's as much a, a um, I don't know, a political war and ink, as it is an ink war, we have to... The general public who's not really awake, they need to see us in a positive light. And they need to understand that the militia exercises extreme, and I cannot emphasize that word enough, extreme restraint. Extreme restraint. I'm going to repeat that a third time. Extreme restraint. Even if we got fired on, we shouldn't be the ones to just unload. We should maybe, okay, hey, whoa, 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 stop. At least try to stop it. You know, hey, just, whoa. But there comes a point where you have to defend yourself. Now, I don't know what y'all know. I don't know your anybody's religious background or any of that sort of thing, but I believe in Jesus, and I've been a Christian all my life. And <clears throat> there's a couple articles on the Internet that talk about, you can just Google it. Google biblical self-defense. You'll find out that Jesus wasn't a pacifist. Jesus said, well, if they strike you on one cheek, if they strike you on... I'm sorry, hang on. If they strike you on the left cheek, then turn the other cheek. Okay. How, how normally, 85% of the population is right-handed. That's a backhand. They're backhanding you. Right? That's an insult. Doesn't say anything about them hitting you on the left side. I got to I kind of messed that up a little bit, but you need to go back and read that scripture. Cuz it talks about one side and the side that they're hitting you on it, that he tells you to turn the other cheek would be a backhand, it would be an insult. The other way is is a defense. And it doesn't say anything about that. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff in there that you could read. I, I could go on and on and on, and I'm going to stop here because I don't want to overtake the call and run a bunch of people off. How many people you got still on the call, Brian? Me. 22. 22, okay. William, I'm still Deborah, here. Denise, Barbie, Mickey, uh, Fred. I was afraid I ran a whole bunch of people off. Max, Mark, yeah, and question. a bunch of anonymous people. Okay. I, I guess I'm question. only anonymous. And uh, see, y'all get me all worked up, and I I can't sit down. I'm you know I get up pacing up and down the hall. I'm just I'm I'm just passionate about what I do, and and I know that the oh, only way you're something and you're a brother. We know that uh, you know you're a hardcore <laughs> patriot, man. You know, I, I I I don't want you to fall to the ground, man, before the fight's over. So take a breather. No, I'm let's I'm let's, I won't. Let's I let's just and Barbie, De- Deborah, we got a plenty of ladies that need to speak up. I'd like to hear from some ladies. You still on there, Barb? Come on with it. I'm here. 
So wh- where are you at with all this, man? You see all these, uh, you know, young bucks and older bucks, you know, trying to get together, make things happen. Give me a woman's perspective of what's going on here. Um, well, I agree with what Eric was just saying. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I don't know what else to say. That's why I'm just sitting here listening. I hear you, but I mean, uh, you know, from where you're sitting, you think it's, uh, you know, a good idea to send people out there and hopefully no hubbub happens? I mean, mm-hmm. are you hoping that this is uh, this is the moment where, you know, we kind of do the Take America back? Uh, you know, I obviously nobody wants any violence, but, you know, do, do you foresee any uh, end-all, be-all solution or anything like that from a woman's perspective? And you, you go ahead and chime in too, Denise, Deborah, I see your names in here. Um, well, I think it's going to be the shot heard around the world. I think okay. that they are watching everybody who comes out there. I'm hoping that everybody that does go out there makes it back home safe. I'm hoping that this isn't going to be the be-all, end-all. But I have a feeling it might be. Um... I don't know. Anybody and else want to chime in? Go ahead, at, sorry. I'm at the moment, and if I could hop on my motorcycle right now and go, I would be there. Right on. Well, the best, you know, if, if you need to stick around town, hopefully you're, uh, you know, waking up some family, friends, and neighbors around you, so in case things get a little tense up by you, at least, you know, you You've got a large group that's looking out for each other. Is I hope all states and cities and counties are doing their best to do the same right now. I've been at this for years, as long as I can remember, since way before 9-11, trying to get more people awake to the you know treachery and tyranny and the fact that I don't think people that we supposedly voted in are, have our you know best interest in mind as a, as a whole at all. You know, totally money grubbers and tyrants and you know, people talk about, you know, I don't want to get all conspiracy theory right now, but people, you know, have different mentions of, like, aliens and things like that when you get into conspiracy theory. But, you know, I'm thinking that these people that are in power are so inhuman at this point that what else are they? I mean, I don't want to say, okay, yeah, they're out of, but they're not human anymore. What 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 is happening? You know, is it, are, are they that evil and Satanist that they want to push us into a corner and really kill all these people that don't deserve it? I mean... We're supposed to be the people who put them in power, yet they want to kill all of us off. I mean, literally, they're they're terraforming. You can tell, you know, every aspect, everything we ingest, drink, eat, air we breathe. You know, now they're going for the land. They already screwed our credit with the houses and the bubble and the economy. And it's like, you can't do that shit by mistake. No. Excuse my language. as As far as talking conspiracy theory, It's not necessarily that. It is a conspiracy theory, but everything has been laid out for the public. And the public has just been eating it like they were drinking the Kool-Aid. Agenda 21 has been out there for three years. Have you you all seen the Georgia Godstones? Yes. No. Not with my own eyes, but read them. I've seen pictures, that's all. I mean, they laid it out in blocks of stone, you know. Yeah, right there for everyone to see. It's all out there. And Brian, you know, I'm insanely curious. How old are you? Who, me? I'm sorry. Yeah, Brian, the how old running. are you? I'm just curious. Being nosy. There's a couple of Brian's. Me, the one running the call? The one running the call, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. I'll be uh, 40 in January. Awesome. Okay. Just insanely curious. I'll be 39 in June. I was just wondering. You just sound That's very cool. young. I, I, I still get carded for lollipops. I was at the mall the other day, and somebody asked me if I lost my mom and you. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'll, I'll surprise you even further. I just turned 44 in February. <laughs> <laughs> well, from another female perspective, I think that it's very wise for people to be cautious when running away from their homes, their states, etc. I am all about supporting Cliven Bundy and his family. I live in Florida. I'm not going to run from my home out there. I'm cautious because just like 
um, I'm sorry, I don't remember the other woman's name here, but Heidi. like her, Heidi, I'm sorry, I agree with her. If this all goes really bad, we're going to have situations in our own places that we're going to need to take care of. Um, and so I don't think it's wise for us to go running across the country, which kind of sucks because I'd love to be there and I'm a loud mouth, but we <laughs> We have to be cautious about our actions. And I, I personally feel that somebody, two or three people out there on the same page with you know, large speakerphone microphones are going to get a lot more positive damage done than 150, 200 guys with AR-15s. Well, I've, yeah. I've done the running off thing. I've, I went to Washington, D.C. last year on September 11th. And... As much as you try to plan and you try to organize, there's so many people that come when it's when you're called. Mm-hmm. In three weeks' time, they got three million bikers to Washington D.C. And oh, I was there helping the vets pull down those memorial barricades. Amen. And what did they do? They they turned off the traffic cams. They blacked out the news media. They mm-hmm. tried to act like we weren't there. Right. It's, you know? what, it's what they're doing now on 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 your media. That it's not even they're not even speaking about it. I mean, you might catch something on Hannity. Uh, Ground Zero Radio had something on it earlier. Uh, but you're not going to hear anything about what's going on out there now. They they don't want the public to know. No, they don't, and the public doesn't want to know anyways. You, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. They'd they'd rather stay asleep and get up tomorrow, work their nine to five, and pretend everything be just fine. Yep, well, watch the reality I, show, play with their phone app. I don't know. Um, I run a group called NEA Prepping Community, and there has been a major influx of people joining lately. And it seems like people are starting to wake up. Oh, yeah. Did you have know that 600 to a network of 6,000 in the last year? Years. I should die in free speech. Uh, on over 60,000 acres of uh, public land. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. Can you say that again? You came in kind of hazy there. Say what? Yeah, could you repeat what you just said, please? Um, I'm reading about the Bondi branch, and it says... Uh, let me find it. BM, BLM has suspended free speech in the area and has actually set up so-called free speech on miles away from the ranch. Yeah, they were. Uh, take that away from us. No, they were. Yeah, they were doing that a couple of days ago. They had a couple of videos that went out. People were standing in and outside of those, speaking out. I don't think anybody's really taking those seriously. It was just, uh, you know. Yeah, a way to kind of demean the people a little up. more. Yeah, we are popping up everywhere on Google. Oh, yeah. Well, two years ago, there was a trial down in Florida for Casey Marie Anthony. The mm-hmm. In front yeah. of the courthouse, there was a freedom of speech area put up. Yep. And nobody had a fit about it. Nope. Oh. I mean, nobody sees anything inherently wrong with a free speech zone. Like, our our whole country, border to border, is a free speech zone. Amen. Should be. I agree. I mean, you know, you don't follow unjust laws, you know. You know, and then I say this, uh, you know, on occasion, you know, just it was a a law one time that black people had to sit in the back of the bus, and it didn't make it right. Nothing about it was right. And just because it's a law doesn't make it right. It's not a constitutional right. law. It should not be followed under any circumstances. Preach it. I don't think I'd ever walk into one. <laughs> I'll stand next to it, <laughs> catch it on fire, and keep talking. <laughs> well, let's see. I'll All bring right. the gasoline and the lighter. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think uh, our caller, you know, the guy moderating all of this needs to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give it another 20 minutes and I'll hit the hit. 
I can okay, get well, you... we just keep him up. I'm just playing <laughs> again, mom here. I, again, I appreciate this. This is the first time I've heard of it, and I will definitely be back into it tomorrow. I just wanted to listen for a while before I said anything to hear what other people were saying. Yeah, but this anything. is the first time we did it. It was uh, all spontaneous. Just It just had to be done, and uh, Commander said, go ahead. It started off, it was going to be uh, just for the Illinois Sons of Liberty, my group, but uh, we decided to kick it up a notch and just said, screw it, let's invite everybody. We need more feedback. We need boots on the ground. We need to know what the military's thinking, so we just spread the word, and a lot of administrators got a hold of more administrators, and uh, this turned out to be a really successful call as far as I know. Um, I'd like to yeah. tomorrow try to get some of the more people that are there. I mean, if we had Richard Mack or, uh, you know, the rancher's wife or the rancher himself, uh, you know, more guys that are there, boots on the ground, you know, preferably even, uh, you know, active guys that are out there. Hell, I don't care if Blackwater gets on the phone, just somebody tell us something so, you know, we, we can see who's yeah. willing to just stand down and squash this before it gets any more out of hand yet. Who knows, you know, fire the first shot, something very... Yeah, but- the last we uh, it can happen, you know. I'm, I'm not looking forward to that, but uh, it's a fact that it can it can happen. Yeah. The, the switch for the best, you know. Is a war. That's the last thing we need. Um, I hear so you, man. Brian, I would love to give you my phone number, and you can call me tomorrow whenever, you know, you're off work and rested and stuff, but... That way I can share with you David Vanderbeek's phone number because I really seriously think he, he needs to be involved in this situation. He will want to be involved in it. Yeah. Um, so that way, you know, I'm giving out my stuff. You're not giving out yours. Um, my phone number is 407 mm-hmm. Uh, my name is Lee. You can find me on Facebook under MJ Liberty. But I would really love to chat with you tomorrow because I think between you and there are a lot of people who can benefit from what you're doing right here. That's what I'm trying to achieve. And, and this could be used for future situations. I mean, I, I think it's a great Absolutely. idea. We've had a lot of success um, you know, with this thus far. You know, I'd like to see the capacity get even close to a thousand someday. You know, it'll take a lot to uh, ne- negotiate and, uh, and, and and you know try to keep people on the same page. But uh, I, I can say this actually went really successful. I'm glad uh, people showed a lot of mutual respect. Uh, I've been in other calls where there's hotheads. If if you noticed, I had to mute a couple people uh, permanently <laughs> a little bit earlier in this call just to kind of let other people have room to speak. And uh, I think it all worked out. I think it was great. There, you know. MJ Liberty, are you in Arizona? No, I am in Florida. I grew up in Arizona. I always want to go to Florida. Florida's not bad. It's not Kentucky, but it's not bad. Oh, I love Florida. It ain't Texas either. (laughs) I live in Texas, brother. Sorry, I couldn't help that one. I've been there and Bad. If, if anybody wants to add me on there, John Q. Constitution, I, I, I. I got you, I sir. Added, just added you as you were saying that, man. <clears throat> this is Eric Ron, Texas Lightfoot Militia. I am signing off, folks. I have got to go to work in the morning. Good night, Eric. I added you. Yes, ma'am. I got your friend request. <laughs> cool. All right, brother Eric. We'll be talking again real soon, man. All right, sir. All right, y'all. Good night. All right. Keep All your right, information night. going, and thanks again, everybody. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this call. It's quarter to 2 a.m., no, it's not. Oh, it's a quarter to 3 a.m. Yeah, no, we're going by central time. That's when I advertise the talk. It's 4.2 here. Good night, Brian.